This is Allocasurina portuensis, or the Nielsen Park she-oak tree. It's a small shrub that may not look like much, but it only occurs here in Nielsen Park in Sydney. And the only reason it still exists is because of a small team of dedicated volunteers. In the 1980s, there were only 10 of these plants left in existence, only two of which were female. The plants that were there hadn't reproduced for a very long time. They were very old. Assumptions were made on the basis of the fact that it was quite similar to another, another species that's very common throughout Sydney and well beyond. They took cuttings of the plants to Australia's very own seed bank in Sydney to see if they could grow more. What we had in our own collection is the last remaining um, survivors. And so there's, there's quite a, a, a huge obligation on our part to make sure that these plants not only stay alive, but they're healthy and vigorous. They managed to propagate the plant at the seed bank. But when planting it back in the natural habitat, many of them were not surviving. Some of the assumptions about where it would grow in heathland, in mixed woodlands, don't seem to have worked out. Only after 10 years of trial and error did they finally understand where the plant would thrive. Despite this, the tree still wasn't reproducing to sustain the population. The plant will not survive on its own, largely because there's no fire in here. That's very difficult in a small park. We are metres away from houses at any point in the park. Without constant effort from volunteers, this plant wouldn't have survived. So technically, this project to re-establish a self-sustaining population of the tree has been a failure. But maybe we need to re-evaluate how we measure success. Because this little plant that doesn't look like much has given people a sense of purpose. Paul has been working to conserve this species for over 20 years. You do this because you really like doing it. It's important to you, you value it. it. It gives you something back to feel that you're a part of making things better. And in the process, they were able to restore around 17 hectares of bushland. When we clear areas of weeds and then we come back later, we have to redo the areas and keep sure that the weeds don't come back. But then you'll, you'll spot something coming up, something native. And it's also taught us a lot about how to grow, how to plant and care for threatened species. And the fact that it can take decades to understand how to help them survive. So it's clear from this project that success means far more than reintroducing a plant and then walking away. Without plants you have nothing really, you know, it, it provides the air that we breathe, it provides the clothing that we wear, it provides the food that we eat. Our whole life is dependent on plants and you know, it's part of a, a bigger picture but without plants there's, there's no us. Music